So before I jump into the Steam MMO market, really scraping the bottom off the barrel to see what I can dig up, I thought it would be a good idea to share what I think pay to win stands for. Now this is a very subjective subject because each person will have a different idea of what pay to win is. You have some people who are screech like monkeys at a simple experience boost and there are those which will only raise the alarms when it's at the really extreme end of the scale. But for me, pay to win means that you're able to buy power with real money that's unavailable through in-game means. Now what do I mean by this? Let's take Allod Online for a minute. This game is notoriously pay to win. Why? Because nearly everything in the cash shop will give you some form of advantage over the non-paying customer. But most importantly, we're going to focus on the runes. Now runes are an item that are crafted through the cash shop with a material called crystal chip. These crystal chips you can then create a rune which will give you increased power. These runes can be combined up and up and up until the maximum level of 13. If you have 6 level 13 runes on your character you will have a whopping 130% damage bonus and roughly 50% damage reduction against a non-paying player which is absolutely absurd. Yes there is a currency exchange in game, there is simply not enough time in this lifetime to grind that amount of money up to exchange it to make those kinds of runes so therefore that for me is pay to win. However in Black Desert Online if we take the artisan memories for a second for me I consider that type of item a convenience item. Why? Because you can still do what it does in game. So the artisan memory if you don't know what it is it causes you to restore 4 points of durability per memory fragment instead of simply one. When you upgrade your gear and it fails, you lose durability so you need to repair it. But this item simply speeds up by four times. It doesn't mean that you can't do it in game because you can very easily obtain these memory fragments through doing in game activities and you can usually buy them off the marketplace quite often. So I consider that a convenience type item. So as for that, that's basically my opinions on it. As long as you can't buy power which is unavailable through in game means, then I generally don't consider it pay to win. I'm sure other people will have their own opinions on what pay to win stands for which is fair enough because there is no real definitive definition of what pay to win stands for. So that's it for this quick video. I just want to get that out before I start looking at MMOs on Steam through the well known and of course the very unknown dodgy looking ones as well. So you can stick around for that if you want. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.